For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. The Tennessee Senate has approved a measure that would require adult websites to have an age verification process. The bill's sponsor, Knoxville Republican Becky Massey, says exposing children to pornography is a form of child abuse and that adults should have to provide ID to see explicit content, just as they must provide ID to buy alcohol. Website owners that violated the law would be subject to a Class C felony. At least eight states have already passed age verification laws for pornography websites. Arkansas and Mississippi are among them. In rare bipartisan agreement, the Tennessee legislature voted overwhelmingly Thursday to ban first cousins from marrying in Tennessee. Governor Bill Lee has yet to sign the bill. Only one Republican, Gino Bolso, argued against it, saying it did not represent a public health issue. The new law closes a loophole dating back to the 1820s that only restricted some marriages among relatives, but not first cousins. This week, the Tennessee Valley Authority announced its intention to build a methane gas plant in Kingston just a week after the Environmental Protection Agency said TVA's environmental review plan for the project was inadequate. The decision was made by TVA CEO Jeff Lyash. WPLN's Caroline Eggers explains why that is a big deal. The TVA board is the main check on power for TVA, and board members are picked by U.S. presidents. In late 2021, the board had seven members, all appointed by President Donald Trump. They delegated decision-making authority on the Kingston Project to CEO Jeff Lyash. Last year, once the board flipped to a majority of Biden appointees, they reversed that decision during a board meeting. At the time, Lyash said, I fully support this change to the delegation. As a matter of fact, I initiated this. Three months later, The board, without public notice, reversed the decision again, giving the power back to the CEO. So who wins with this decision? TVA executives like Lyash, who made $10.5 million last year, have financial motives to build gas plants because of TVA's bonus system. TVA has previously denied this as motivation for decisions. Caroline Eggers, WPLN News. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org or on the free WKNO app.